here recording and it's now uh recording okay we're, we're in good shape now folks this is our big uh, monday show the important monday show the one with lots of people who i like to have on the show here they're uh, they're all uh all right i keep saying it's nice people talking about nice stuff and it's just kind of pleasant and we got a lot of them today so let's Admit them all at the same time. Edward Berger, Jeff Stein's here, Glenn LaFrisco, uh, Charlie Wallace. Uh, let's see here if we got to got to get him here. There we go. Admit Charlie Wallace. Wow, we're off to a, a raging start here. Admit Steve Bender. Boy, we got a, a good bunch of people. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> mm. What? What? Who? Who? Is, who said that? Oh, it wasn't me. It was Edward. I could tell it was his voice. Uh -huh. If this guy came up to you in the dark, you'd know who he was anyway. So That's right. you can't get away with murder. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That is your natural voice, isn't it? Of course, I didn't borrow it for anyone. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get one on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'm telling you. Uh, so I guess we're going out over Facebook. I, I didn't even look to see here. Hold on a second. I don't care. Facebook. Uh, let me see here. Is it going out over Facebook? I'm sure it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We got it. There we go. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing? What's uh, fine? Yeah. What's 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 new? I I we should at least mention at the beginning of the program, although we don't want to talk about it because we try to talk about nicer stuff. But um, uh, what's going on in the Ukraine and how sad mm -hmm. it all is, you know? And um, I just. Uh, I kind of have thinking as good a thought as I can of those people. Uh, and that's the most you're going to hear about at this hour, but I felt it should go. It shouldn't go without saying, uh, but anyway, how you doing, Rick? No complaints. No complaints. Uh, he's always in that same position, lying in his bed. <laughs> Explain well, me your... and Marjorie. We're both bed buddies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When she dies, I'm going to have her stuffed and put on in the bed. You know, <laughs> just sitting there, and I'm going to have the new the MSNBC on the TV all the time in memory no, of her. Get that huh? tennis and tennis, tennis on. on. Yeah. Well, when tennis when it's tennis, I'll 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 turn it on and you know. So anyway, uh, but I am very depressed. Uh, does I anyone here watch 1883? Yes. Not yet. Yes. How depressed. They killed her. No, don't say that. Then oh. you might want to watch it. But how depressing Spoiler was alert. it? Oh, you didn't like her. I hated her. Oh, he hated her. He hated I the hated narrator. Her. They, I don't you, watch the show, but I know you hated the narrator. Yeah, well, they killed off the narrator. <laughs> yeah. And she, and she was literally the most popular person <laughs> on the show. In the show. Okay. Um, well, and what is maybe the... she wanted too much money for next season. No, no, no. I don't think that was it at all. I think that uh, Taylor Sheridan, who writes the thing and came up with it, I, he always, I think, likes to go for the unexpected, you know, because your automatic impression is she's the narrator, she's the integral part of the program. Uh, I don't think anything's going to happen to her, you know, she, they're going to figure out a way to save her life. And they didn't. They let her die. <laughs> And they got my, and they, my, my and they, renewed it, they renewed it for another season. They also killed off one other major character. Yeah, I won't say that one. Yeah. Um, well, that's the way life works. Well, that's what I liked about that show is it never gave me what I expected, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but I liked her. She was sweet. Well, you, you know her, Rick, from uh, from young Sheldon. She played young Sheldon. I have never seen young Sheldon and never will. Oh, you never have? <laughs> Thank you. Me too. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, well, she played oh. young Sheldon's girlfriend on the show. That was her? Mm-hmm. 
the blonde. Uh, yeah. The, the the other genius kid. No, 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 no. This was a blonde, I think, that was on, I think, maybe in the first season or second season. Oh. And, and she was around for a little while. He had kind of a crush on her and so on. And that was this, uh, this actress who will now go on to other things, Scott, in spite of the fact that you don't want her to. <laughs> but my worst nightmare is that she's going to come back and stu- still be the narrator from the dead. <laughs> well, of course, she's narrating from the netherworld. <laughs> oh, that, that's happened on other shows where a dead character it's, is still the narrator. Uh, Sunset, what, Sunset, what show? Sunset Boulevard. What what show? Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> Sunset Boulevard. Yeah, absolutely. The guy narrating it is dead. It's yeah, floating that's... in the pool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you see him dead at the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. But you see her get shot with an arrow at the very beginning. Yeah. You know, so. Um, but uh, you turned me on to a show I watched today, and I got to get Marjorie to watch it. Ghosts. That's a funny little show. I love this show. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm watching the British version now. Oh, really? Yeah. Which is much, they did, a, so far they're doing a better job at the American version. Your, your mic is a little low today. I don't know why. Is it? Yeah. Sounds lower than usual. Oh, I anyway, guess I'm calling let's, let's watch the British. Let's watch the British one. <laughs> what? I'm saying let's watch the British ghosts. They're just more the the ghosts are more characterish. Can I call it that? <laughs> if that's an actual term, where they tone them down in the American version. Oh, really? Oh, you would think the British would play it a uh, little. No, they're playing it really off the charts in the, at least season one of the British version. Let's watch that, Alex. No, I don't want to watch the British version. I've seen well, the British version. Well, again, what you always talk about Britain, there are only three seasons, 18 episodes. That'll be one one year on American television. Right, yeah. right. Um, has, um, has anyone seen this new show that um, Ben Stiller's directing, Severance? yeah. yeah. I, I think it's really interesting so yeah, far. I, I, we, yeah. we, we, we got through the first two episodes. We haven't gotten to the third yet, I think. It gets better. It gets better. Does it get better? I think it's really cool. It's very Charlie Kaufman-esque, I think. Right? Kind Weird. of. Yeah. Eternal sunshine-ish. You know? It's about, a, it's about a, a, a place where if you go to work for them, you have to go through this severance situation in which while you're at work, you know all the things that are happening at work and what you're doing and so on, but you don't know about your real life. You know nothing about your and, personal life. And then life. when you then when you go back up the elevator in out to the real world, you remember your real life, but you don't remember work. Uh, it's an interesting process, you know. It's an interesting conceit gotcha. for a show, but. I know, I just couldn't get into I, I gotta get into another episode of it. Yeah. But uh no, I thought Ghost was very funny. Very funny. Yeah. And, very, and delightful. Yeah. And by the way, no live studio audience, Marjorie. Marjorie hates audience tracks. I, I want to watch the British one, Alex. Well, good. Go watch it. Go find it. You know, you know where no, you know where it is. You know where to go. Well, I <laughs> what do you mean I know where to go? I know where to find it and download yeah. it so she can watch it. But if I don't find it and download it, she doesn't know how to do it. Yeah. You know, I'm not watching the American one. Oh, OK. Well, then <laughs> don't give yourself a, a little play. Is it, it's a good show, right, Rick? The American version. Yeah. But yeah. the British is better, he said. No, no. I said they're more characterish. They're more Being cartoonish more than the American the version. Top. Yeah. Yeah, so you probably wouldn't like the British version. You know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but I I, uh, I watched the first episode of Ghost, and I thought it was just delightful, just delightful. You know. So. Well, well I sent you that article where apparently it's CBS's big breakout hit of the season somehow. Really? Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Ghost of the decade. Well, when I love and it, as Friday, Thursday and, and not a Chuck Lorre show. Yes, it's not a Chuck Lorre show. 
the only thing on CBS that isn't a Chuck Lorre show. Um, uh, Charlie, what'd you say? I like all those. That They have four great comedies in a row on Thursday night on CBS. You like uh, the uh, what do you call it? The thing of Al? What is that thing called? Yeah, oh, yeah. I like I like I like the Al. Call me Al. America. What is it? Yeah, the guy from Afghanistan. That yeah, three yeah, out of the no, four it's a, shows. It's a good little, you know, it's a sweet little show. Yeah. Let's call it that. Three out of the four shows are Chuck Lorre shows. Yeah. Yes. Yes, they are. You know, so I would imagine Chuck Lorre probably should invade ghosts and take it over. <laughs> And that might be why it's doing very well. It's hammock in between. Yeah, it's following, um, yeah. it's actually it's, it's in the, in the middle of them. Yeah, it's in between. Call me Al and the. Uh, well, you know, have you have uh, you the Anna Lee Ashford show. Be, yeah, be that's a delightful show too. That it. But you know what positive. I you know what I like about be positive, uh, and I say this as an older person, um, is that it treats old people with dignity. Yeah, you know it respects them, and doesn't necessarily make them buffoons. And in the last episode, two of them, old we people, seventy-year-olds having sex, having yep. seventy-year-old, seventy-year-olds or plus seventy-plus yep. having sex. So I mean, it, it and it, and and making it a comedy to boot. So I mean, it really works. Really works. <laughs> seventy-year-old sex is a comedy, though. Huh? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> people will probably disagree with me but i just tried the two shows that were getting so much buzz um you know euphoria and inventing anna and i found them both unwatchable well she well, watched inventing him. anna she was so bad as an actress it was the weird. whole thing is just the not and what i saw it was nine hours i was like really is this gonna be nine hours is she that woman also on ozark yes oh, okay. yes she was she's the um the, the daughter, the young, younger, oh. bad girl on the show. Yeah, the well, commercials I, for that show didn't impress me. So what commer commercials for what show? For, oh. for the inventing Anna. Inventing or, Anna. Yeah, yeah. And I made it through a half an hour of that, and I made it through two episodes of Euphoria, which is just so damn dark and you know hard. It's like ridiculous. Why? Why would you want to watch that? Yeah. Well, but again, why do I care about inventing Anna? Why do I care about this woman? Right. You know, right. I mean, it could be an interesting story, but not for nine hours. I mean, I like con men <laughs> stories. So 90 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Tell right. your little story. And let's go home. Right. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I um, oh, here comes Vernon. Here comes Vernon. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me admit Vernon. Um, uh, anyway, um, and uh, Jeff, Jeffrey signed today. Looks like he's in a witness protection. Yeah. <laughs> I moved. Yeah, well, you got all that light in back of you, so your face is in the dark. But that's okay. We I come around. We could say we could say uh, 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 just put up your name as Brad Pitt, and they wouldn't know the difference. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I don't think I'll get uh, arrested or anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in Florida. Well, I'm in Florida, but I'm in a different part of Florida. What's a different part? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. You were in buttfuck Florida. Where are you now? <laughs> Ask buttfuck Florida on the west coast now. Yeah. Well, he did say it was going to take him a while to get home. Yeah, That's but I mean, it, we, didn't, at, we didn't mean we're that. We're at sister's house. I see. So it is a very nice place. And we're going to be here a couple of days. And then I'm going to see, go to, to, let's see, we're going to go to Georgia to see my sister. Hmm. It's a busy, busy thing. By the time we get home, we won't even remember where we live. <laughs> <laughs> where you went? <laughs> well, Excuse me? That just happened to me the other day. We went to the grocery store and came back and couldn't remember what apartment house I lived in. Oh, shit. lost it completely. No, no. <laughs> we went to this new. See, here's a kind of non impactful discussion that we have on this program. Marjorie <laughs> and I, the other day, went to a new grocery store. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It's, a, it's a European grocery chain called Little L I D L 
I I L I D L I think. Mm. Started in Germany. Yeah, started in Germany. They got a lot of like fifteen thousand, or maybe a hundred. It was a fifteen thousand stores all over the world. Okay, right. and they but they haven't had one in Manhattan till last week, and so we went over there, and they said, uh, you know, we have um, uh, things that you know, food uh, food prices that are low. You know, stuff is being sold cheaper than anywhere else. And so we went up to see what it was like. And it was right. They, they were selling produce, for instance, cheaper than our other grocery store. Good example. Good produce. Yeah, good. My local grocery store, four, two avocados for $5. At Little, four avocados for four and a half dollars. Okay. And so we went to them and I went, well, you know, how good is the produce going to be? You know, if it's just cheap, they probably get it because it fell off a truck somewhere. And we brought fruit home. The fruit was incredible. You had after it fell off the truck. After it <laughs> fell off the truck, well, that that makes it kind of um, a little more ripened, you know. Uh, but no, it's it's very good. Uh, although I wasn't impressed with the store that much, you know. But it's a uh, it's a whole new grocery store for us in the neighborhood. So there you go. Uh, they took over this other grocery store, which when I first saw it, I, I said to Marjorie, she said, let's go in there. It's a little grocery store. I said, look, it's a but they well, I have been shopping there for a while, so oh, I knew. Oh, okay. But I said, what? This is a, a bodega. And that's exactly what it looked like. The footprint was a bodega. And then you walk through and it gets bigger. And then you go there's down, a bar in the back. Then you go down the escalator and it's this huge grocery store. And I kind of called it the TARDIS of grocery store because <laughs> it was bigger on the inside than it was on the outside. Amazing. Is it called Aldi's? Uh, no, this new one is Little, L-I-D-L, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, there's another uh, European. Aldi, yeah. Show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, everybody's taking us over, you know. <laughs> Pretty soon, it, it, you won't be able to buy American. Yeah, so but uh anyway, so that's that's our that was our that was our that was our thrill. That and, was our journey. And uh, Shecky had to go to a funeral this weekend. Well, here's the interesting thing. The guy the came back to life. The person who passed away was the letterman, Steve Colbert, etc. The Foo Fighters sent a giant floral tribute. Really? How was that? <laughs> that's his answering machine. That, that's whose Hi. answering machine? Jackie's. Oh. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. We, we're not going anywhere, are we? Are you all? Coming? That must be an important call. It must be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we cut that? off his microphone. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. Mm. Back from the funeral. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll get back to well, Shecky in a moment and find yeah. out about the Foo Fighters sending a floral arrangement. Vernon Nunn, how's everything down in Kentucky? Well, our uh, local Home Depot that I work has re lifted the mask requirement for customers and employees. Oh, good. Now, is, is that a step forward or is, is it bad for Kentucky? Are they still infected? Uh, it depends on where in Kentucky. You know, I, I looked at that chart that the CDC put out yeah. saying that, uh, you know, depending upon where you live, the guidelines are going to be a little different. And they got the whole state of Kentucky is red saying, you know, like, run for your lives. Really? <laughs> well. Uh, because here in New York, I heard that uh, we had um, the 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 inoc vaccination rate. I can't think straight today. Vaccination rate is uh, eighty percent among adults. Really? It, yeah. Is it that high? I didn't know. Yeah. That. Yeah. So I mean, and uh, a little less for boosters, but you know, they I keep will... looking to see if they're going to require a booster in the spring or suggest a booster in the spring. If they uh, wanted me to take a booster every week, I'd go just, you know, do it intravenously. You know, be, <laughs> you know I'm there. Mixing a little scotch. 
Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm there. You know what I got? I'll tell you. If you want, to, it's very interesting. How, anybody here have Roku? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You got Roku. You know what you can get on your Roku? RT television. A booster shot? No, <laughs> RT, RT television. RT? RT, yeah. which is Russian, Russian. television. It's Russian a, TV. It's run by the... I'll, I'll bet you it's gone right now. No, it's not. Okay. It's on Roku. So we were watching it, and it's fascinating to see how they're parsing this thing. Like all the, uh, the uh, you know, the uh, uh, people from... Um, uh, Ukraine. The Ukraine. Ukraine. I keep forgetting it. It's from the Ukraine. Uh, yeah. Are uh, using children as, 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 as to, you know, shield themselves, and they spare it. It's like all these lies, complete. Lies. Oh, it's the Fox Network. It, ah. it, it really is. It, yeah. it it reminded me immediately of Fox because what I was going to was so Tucker. Well, I was going to this nether world. They were showing Tucker Carlson on Russian television with oh, Russian yeah. titles. Is, is it in English, uh, Alex? Is it in, is it yes, English? it's in English. So, so it's propaganda for oh, us. And there are Americans no, I'm hosting looking, I'm it. looking right now. It says RT America broadcasts from its studios in Washington, D.C. Uh, no, no, no. They yeah. also have another channel. No, no. That and then they have a live channel. Then they have a live channel, which comes out of Russia. And then yeah. they have the UK channel, which comes out of the UK. But these were all people telling the same lies. Wow. You know, it's amazing. How about the guy that tried to sink the, the yacht? Oh, we, but they ran a story about a guy who... who, who Ukrainian. Who, I think he did sink the yacht, didn't he? Sure. He got arrested for sinking a yacht. Uh, and he was a Ukrainian. He sunk a yacht that belonged to a Russian in Greece, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought that, that was our funny story of the day. Yeah. Oh, the funniest one I saw was on John Oliver's show this past weekend. He was talking, he, he gave a little picture of uh, CNN's coverage of the war in Ukraine, and then it broke away to an Applebee's commercial. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was great. And then they ran a thing later on where they had all these great the moments in history like the death of uh, jfk being announced by walter yeah. cronkite and then he gets yeah. in small and they run another applebee's commercial <laughs> next oh, to it. one of the funniest things i saw this weekend and it's a joke that is so funny i was bur bursting a gut here but yet all across the country nobody probably got the joke and let me tell you what it was it was on saturday night live and it's this guy is like in the subway and people are doing dance numbers and they're all dance numbers from various Broadway shows. And finally they do one that was a parody of if I were a rich man and out come a bunch of, uh, what do you call it? Jews. Uh, so far, uh, Hasidic. The, the Hasidic <laughs> Jews dancing. If I was the, da, 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 and then was through the guy looks at another guy and says, Wow, was that the cast from Fiddler on the Roof? He says, no, that was B&H photo on a lunch <laughs> break. <laughs> now, see, Shecky laughed. He knew I know, yeah, it's joke. A, who's B&H photo? Exactly. <laughs> and I went, the only people in the whole country who would get it were people in New York. And the people in New York, okay, most of them wouldn't get it because they don't go to B&H photo. And you've got to go to B&H Photo to get the joke because you don't realize that everybody's selling electronics at B&H Photo. We're eating the Talises and the Yamakas and the, you know, the long That's toast. why they closed on Saturday. <laughs> they closed on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Well, remember 47th Street Photos? Same that was thing. A, yeah. It was yeah. On. yeah. It, it seemed like, uh, and I can say this, the YIDs were responsible for most of the electronic stores in New York City at one point, you know. I but think the, Uncle Steve's was also, if you remember yeah. Uncle Steve's. Yeah, but I told that joke, and the only person who laughed here, oh, I, Marjorie, I already said it, uh, were, were Jeffrey and, and, and Rick. Uh, you got it, Len? Oh, yeah, totally, yeah. I, I, I work with a guy that, uh, that used to be an answer phone calls at B&H. So, yeah, I know. The oh, really? Oh, OK. Yeah. I used to go there once in a while to get camera stuff. Yeah, yeah their prices are ridiculous. <laughs> they're very good. <laughs> well, sometimes they're high on certain stuff. But, yeah. you know, they they're uh, they've been around for a long time. And it, if you want to go to a 
let's say you're into electronics and you want a part or a thing, anything, you go there. They've got yeah. everything. It kind of like, you remember out in California, we had a thing called Fry's. Yeah. And Fry's, you could find everything. They're gone now, too. They're gone. Including potato chips at the checkout. <laughs> really. And um, uh, B&H is like that. I mean, you can go to B&H and pretty much, uh, you know, where's the calculator department? Yeah, the fry, fry, fries lost me when I bought a piece of software there, brought it home, unshrink wrapped it and looked inside and the, uh, the warranty card was already filled out. So somebody had brought it back. And, and they just oh, yeah, they were doing that. They were doing that. They were if you brought something back, like, this doesn't work. They would repackage it yeah. and put it back on the shelf. Wow. And they weren't telling anybody they were repackaging it. Who and knows if somebody it. put a, you could have put a virus on the disc that, that I ended up using. You know, who knows? Yeah, but the they, point they is they also the, had a section you had to enter it through a, a, like a side door, and that's where you brought your stuff to be sold. Yeah. Oh, you it mean at, at B and H? You mean at B and H? Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, we just lost Marjorie's picture. Yeah. It's spam. Oh, you got spam? Uh, I'm I'm getting tired of these people calling me about my car. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have a car. Well, keep it's them on your phone. Keep them busy. What else you got to well, do? I, 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 there's some some days when I've got time, I do that because you yeah. know don't ever make a spam call to an old person. Right. They got, they got all the time in the world. <laughs> but yeah, you, but my warranty on my night night 2019 Volkswagen's expiring. Oh, I've no. never owned a Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> And God forbid you showed on a car that was built in the last 20 years, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, uh, I, um, the other day, one called me, the one that I've had call me several times. I'm from the Medicare uh, in, insurance sec, uh, center, okay? Can we have your social security number, your credit card? And mm -hmm. right. But <laughs> anyway, I got, I got to talking with her and I said, well, tell, me, tell me more about this. Yeah, so I've gotten calls from them before, and I and I said, "Tell me more about it." And she, you know, do you do, well? Do you, you have Social Security, you have Medicare insurance, right? And yes, we do. And blah 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 blah. And I said, oh, "Where are you located?" And <laughs> she said, uh, "Well, I'm in Florida." And I went. She, I wasn't aware that Medicare was in Florida. Mm. And, and she said, "Well, we're we're in Florida." And I said, well, "Wait a minute." I, you're Medicare, though, right? She said, no, I didn't say I was Medicare. I said, what did you say? He said, I said I was the Medicare center. <laughs> what the fuck does that And mean? I said, that, that's kind of deceiving, isn't it? Clink. <laughs> <laughs> but a couple I mean, of times a week now, I'm getting uh, text messages on my phone saying, hey, this uh, so-and-so uh, just wondering if you still live at 2500 Cross Hill Road, Louisville, Kentucky. They want to buy my house. They've been <laughs> sight unseen. Really? Yeah. Well, the last time it happened, I just replied STOP and I got an automated response. An automated, <laughs> automated response saying what? When you said you've been unsubscribed. We unsubscribed and yet, you anymore. And they they've contacted you again. No, no, oh. I'm just saying I, I, I decided that. This was not a real person doing this. Oh, this I see. probably a machine. And so yeah. I typed in S-T-O-P, and I got an immediate response saying, you've been unsubscribed. Oh, okay. Right, and then they sold your information to someone else. Somebody else, yeah. Well, here's right. the thing I, I, I'm always suspicious of is there are, I get mail, and they on there have unsubscribe. Yeah. And with some major companies, I go unsubscribe, and I know they're going to unsubscribe me. But with others, I don't know that if I hit unsubscribe, they don't go, fuck him. Now we know he exists. Yeah, now we know we got a good email address. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Steve, you live in New York. You don't own a car, right? I do not own a car. I get many calls about my car insurance. I don't have student loans. I get many calls about my student loans. Yeah, we get that too. Um, and I unsubscribe to Well, everything. if I got one for student loans, I'd thank them for being so flattering. 
<laughs> and I unsubscribe to every piece of spam junk mail, but it doesn't do anything. I mean, it just, you know, you get well, more. I found one day I decided I would start going through all my junk mail and get rid of it by just saying unsubscribe. And I got rid of quite a few of them. I, it, it lowered yeah, but the I still get Kroger's 10 a day. I've never shopped at Kroger's in my lifetime. Mm. You know what I've subscribed to is this. I've, I've been thinking about doing extra work. Why not? I got yeah. nothing else to do with my life. So I, I subscribe to this thing. It doesn't cost money to subscribe to it called casting. Yeah. And what it does is sends me uh, casting notices. And I get about 10 of them a day. Wow. You know, yeah. and what's depressing about it is like I was watching Mrs. Maisel the other day. Well, and it's Mark Green went, I could have been in that scene because I kept getting <laughs> casting notices for Mrs. Maisel. Oh, in fact, in, fact, in fact, I still am. Yeah, they want people to fill up that strip club in Mrs. Maisel. I've seen those too. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I go, I'd say to Marjorie, yeah, I could be in that scene. Marjorie's not going to be a stripper, is she? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Good, good, good. No, but, <laughs> uh, but apparently they, they shoot that thing way ahead of when it's on uh, uh really close to when it's on because there's still i still get casting notices for it yeah but that might have to do with covid that they started yeah. filming late yeah this and season was delayed it's not going as quickly as it might have well i think don't some shows um uh th like the i know some of the network shows are still shooting at this point yeah, um, I, I still get casting notices for the blacklist and things like that, you know. So, I mean, it, it, I don't know. They're necessarily finished, you know. No, I, I know people who do it and the money is OK, but, you know, you do end up standing. But it's around. a whole day. Right, you it's stand around for day. hours and hours and hours yep. in, co in costume, you know, just for nothing. I'm just waiting eight hour days. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it pays 180, 182 lunch. big bucks. You know, <laughs> that's extra work. Yeah, and if I did five of them a week, <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be totally burnt out. Huh? You'd be so burnt out because some of them are like overnight shoots, and some of them are all day. Uh, <laughs> right, right. Well, the thing I don't like is you have to go get uh, a, a nose swab the day before or something. So you got to make really two trips to do it rather than just one. And then you got to take a cab or a subway to get there. By the time you're done, how much are you making? Yeah, but I could sit there uh, like we did this weekend and show, uh, say to Marjorie, see, that's me. See, I could do that. <laughs> you know. Okay. What a free lunch. Okay, you're talking about eight hours sitting around doing nothing. What do I have to do with my life? I, I spend eight hours a day sitting around this house doing nothing. And nobody's paying and nobody's paying. Right. Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't you rather be watching a show or listening to music than sitting around? And well, I, I like being on a set. It's so interesting to see what's going on. So I yeah. can do that. Yeah. And you never know. I might get discovered. <laughs> most, right. of, most of the people I know who have done it did not even spot themselves in the scenes. Yeah. Fine. I actually... <laughs> Back, back in the first year of NCIS, that's got to be 20 years ago now, uh -huh. I was sitting on the beach in Catalina, and they were filming. I was just sort of watching, not paying any attention, ended up talking to them, um, come to watch the show. And there in the background, in about three pixels high, is me sitting on the seawall as they pan by. <laughs> yeah. So, it happened. Well, it you're, happened. Known, you're known in the business as atmosphere. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, I played the part of oxygen. No, uh, atmosphere. And, and uh, you know, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it, it, I, I wouldn't mind doing a couple just for the fun of it. You know, it is fun. Yeah. Yeah. So I can point, say to all of you, I'm, I'm Mrs. Maisel this week. See if you can find me. It's kind of like where's Waldo. <laughs> you know, if you can find Black striped shirt. <laughs> yeah. Because I said I was, I was 82 years old and I get all the casting notices for people upwards to 99 years old. Yeah. So apparently they don't care what age you are. Yeah. As long but, as you're breathing. Well, some of them say like, you got to have a car, but I think they should pay you more for supplying a car. To the right. direction. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to bring your own wardrobe. Well, <laughs> right. yeah, but you know, Plus this costume work. 
Well, I'll show up in a clown outfit and see if they'll let me go on, sit in the, <laughs> sit in the audience at the strip show on Mrs. Maisel. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just thinking if, if, you know, Marjorie's going to be cutting back on work and I should, br I haven't brought in any real income to this relationship lately. So maybe I should, you know, uh, here, dear, here's nope. my $182. And after taxes, how much is that? <laughs> oh, well, you know, yeah, well, it's, it's one trip to Costco. You know. You can become it's a, a greeter at Costco. Your comfy movie theater. I can become a greeter at Costco. I, I guess sure. it, would they hire me at my age? I know they would at Walmart. At Walmart, they hire really old people. I couldn't because I couldn't stand up all day like that. Yeah, yeah, but uh, well, they can't discriminate against you because of age. So, were you willing to put up with whatever they're? asking well are there greeters at costco i guess they're guys at the front you check your you card check your ID. theoretically when you walk in yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah do you think they're really paying attention to whether you have a card or not you know no. why it doesn't matter if you have a card or because not? you can't check out with them you can't check <laughs> out yeah. you can't check out unless you have a card but you can but get free you, food I think you can check out but you have to pay like five percent more to check out mm -hmm. if you don't have a card oh but i didn't know that I believe right. so. I could be wrong, but I, I think felt so, so fancy schmancy because I was the member of a club. <laughs> you know, and you telling me that I didn't need to join the club in order to be checked out? I believe you just pay a vigorish. Okay. I, uh, uh, I, I didn't know but that. But going in when they look at your card, it's also to give account of how many people are in there. Well, the, I don't know if it's that as much anymore. It was during COVID. It was two years ago. You know, but uh, you know when when I check out, do you use your uh, do you use your iPhone to check out at um, Costco? I just I have my card on a uh, thing, and the no, I have the credit. I have the Costco credit card. What? Well, no, yes. no, no. I'm not talking about credit. I'm talking about. Just to show them that you can check out the membership. You have to show them your membership. Yeah, you, but I use my credit card as I walk in because my mm -hmm. picture's on the back of it. And like Oh, you have a Costco credit card. Yeah. It's not is it a credit card? Yes. Oh, because I don't have their credit card. Yes, you do. No, I have their card. I have their membership card. That's what I have. Are you well, my membership card is also a credit card. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. Mine is just a membership card. Membership. We get now, extra money. Get, it's, we get it's a company card, and I get two percent off using the credit card. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, well, no, I get two. I no, I get two percent using. Uh, I'm onto my card. You know. I it, guess. In other words, whatever. When you pay for it, do you pay for it with your Costco credit card? Yes. Oh, okay. Because I don't pay for it, then the company pays for it. Okay, that's fine. But I'm just wondering because what I've got is the is the membership card, and I have to show my membership card before I can check out, and then I use my American Express. I'm using yeah, American Express to pay for it. But I'm not going there that much uh, often. That often, I, I let Instacart do it for me, and I don't get points towards the the final amount every year. You know that you kind of right. get, yeah. Well, that's like the two percent, I think. Are right. the points? Yeah, about. I don't get the I don't get the two percent because I have somebody else shopping for me, and I suppose they I don't I don't know what the deal they have with Costco is. Yeah. Do you still get your medication from them? Oh yeah, I get it, uh, but uh, it's mail order. It's their mail order. It's mail order. Yeah, I mean, I, I can also go to my local Walgreens if, like, my doctor says, you got an infection. Well, I'm not going to wait for Walgreens to mail it to me, you know. Uh, I, want, I want it now so I can be uninfected. So uh, that would be a different story altogether. I would have them send it to my local Walgreens. But for my month, the, most of my drugs, I don't, I don't even use my uh, health insurance, my pharmaceutical insurance, because it's cheaper just getting them through Costco. It's amazing. Just amazing. And I just read that you do not need to be a member to go to their pharmacy. You can get 
Oh. You can go to their pharmacy without being a member. Right. Really? Yeah. And yeah. alcohol sometimes. And yeah. alcohol, correct. Because I had to check in with my card. Yeah, but it says you don't have to have a membership. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. You know. And then, well, uh, like supposedly, and I've never eaten there, the food court, you don't need to be a member. That, that's also correct. Yeah. Well, you could, so there's a lot of things you can do at Costco without being a member. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. And you're right about, Shecky, you're right about the 5%, but that's online only. You can't go into the store, but you can order stuff online and they'll charge you 5% if you're not a member. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know. I've got an interesting Costco story for you, Alex. Okay. We were on uh, Amazon. Yeah. And my wife, my wife uses these uh, thermocares for her lower back because it, it, she gets these muscle spasms every once in a while. So we went on Amazon and I ordered a package of nine of these back uh, thermocares and it shipped to the house and it came in a Costco box. It was shipped directly from Costco to me. Mm. And I went on Costco's website and I could have bought them on the Costco website for $10 less. <laughs> oh, somebody, somebody was on Amazon selling this product and making 10 bucks. Yeah. Wow. wow. What's it called? Thermacare? I'm writing it Therm down. Thermacare. T-A-T-R-M-A-C-A-R-E. I have a bad back. Yeah. <laughs> Marjorie today went and got completely invaded by uh by by two things she got an mri and that was followed by a ct scan ow oh boy. Um, i had a stress test last week well i have a stress test every day but that's because i'm married to her <laughs> <laughs> this was chemically oh. induced though no oh, i see well oh. uh, it is kind of chemically induced she yeah. smoked some pot before she hits me anyway go ahead <laughs> What were you saying? Oh, I was saying uh, my doctor wanted to get a baseline just to make sure my arteries were in good shape because uh, during a, a previous exam, they discovered I had a nerve issue with the nerves in my heart. Well, mm. I said, well, what does that mean? He said, well, it has to do with how your, how your heart muscle beats, you know, because the upper chambers pump and then the bottom chambers pump. And it's all within milliseconds of each other. Well, they're able to detect on an EKG if that sequence is not quite in rhythm or whatever. Right. It's not arrhythmia right. or anything like that. So he said, well, just let's make sure that the arteries are, are open and all that kind of stuff. So they wanted to run the t stress test just to do that. Well, we discovered one thing. The arteries are fine. There's no occlusions or anything like that. But also, when they increased my, my heart rate with that chemical, the Block, the nerve blockage went away. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> That's a nice freedom. So it's only when I'm resting, like I'm sitting right here talking to you, that I have that nerve problem. Oh, well, <laughs> then run around the house while you're talking to us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do some jumping jacks. Yeah, yeah. Well. By yeah. the way, if I make it next Monday, I might have an eye patch on. Uh -oh. oh, 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 it's uh, you're getting your uh, you see, this it's is cataract. Day. Th there isn't a young person who would be interested in the least about <laughs> anything that we're talking about here. Um, a bunch of old people, yeah. He's getting he's getting a, a cataract surgery. Right? My wife had her cataracts done six weeks ago, she's never been happier. Yeah, That's it's right. simple. Yeah, you'll have an eye cup on. When are you doing it next Monday? Monday, and I don't know the time yet, so that's why I don't know if I'll be. Well, definitely here come on the sh come on the show. You won't be in any pain or anything, and it'll be fun All to right. see. Depend on what time they do it. I want it'd be fun to see you with a cup on your eye. <laughs> Did I keep my cup? I thought I kept it kept it for a while, but I you know I got two of them. But uh, your yours is like two weeks apart, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But uh, you know you'll you'll love it. It makes uh, it makes seeing much better. You know, obviously, obviously. See, here's the thing. Here's the reason I'm not religious. If there was a God, wouldn't he be a better engineer? <laughs> he, you know, I mean, he only made us to last at best fifty years before the parts start to wear out. Yeah. Yes, but going back hundreds or thousands of years, that's all you lasted. 
Yep. Oh. What well, did Red Fox say once that that God's little joke was putting the ass next to the pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we just got demonetized. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I uh, you know, it's just, uh, um, what was I talking about? I can't remember now. Eye patch. You're railing against patch. God for mortality. No, yeah. no, yeah, what I was saying about mortality is that, that uh, you know, by the time you reach our age, I mean, everything needs to be replaced. You know, uh, and and I'm lucky. I mean, the only thing I needed to have replaced were some cataracts, and I, you know, had to have them do some stuff to my prostate. Um, but those are the things that happen when you get older. You know, the, yeah. uh, I was and told the reason. I said, "Why do I have prostate cancer?" And he said, "Because you're 80." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know that no uh, that, if, uh, but getting prostate it wears when, out. When you get prostate cancer at 80, it's probably not dangerous. You have to have it taken care of, but it's not dangerous. Whereas if you got it at, say, 60 or 50, doctors worry about that, really worry about it. Yeah, it's very slow growing. So something else is going to get you if you're in your 80s. Well, well I, I said to my doctor, I said, the guy who did the seeds, I said, uh, 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 is this the thing that's going to kill me? And he looked at me like I was on another <laughs> planet. He said, no. You know, like stupid. You know. So I'm going to take his word for it, and I'm going to live to be 100. Hello! <laughs> and I'll probably still be doing this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, and right. The show and will go something like back. this. Welcome to our show. Which show is this? <laughs> yeah, is oh, it? Okay. Let's see. Who's not here today? Who's dead? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to like one square. You know. yeah. um, uh, you'll be the only one left. <laughs> yeah, um, but, but it, it, you know, I mean, they, these pipes wear out. And uh, Marjorie, God knows she has, uh, her back has just been been a continual problem ever since I've known her, you know? Yeah. Well, gets worse. how many people died of heart problems like your dad at 50? So would still be living another 30 years had it happened 15 years later let's say well my father didn't die of a heart problem i thought it was a heart problem no it was a, uh, a, um, a pituitary tumor oh but that okay so that's and that one. was the one about 10 years after my father died because he died of a pituitary tumor and they couldn't get to them in those days and now they just go up the nose yeah, yeah. And, and i and i, I said this woman so she said oh i had a health thing about two years ago i said oh what so I had a pituitary tumor. And I said, my father died of a pituitary tumor. You're still alive? She mm -hmm. says, oh, everybody's alive who gets a pituitary tumor. It's simple. They now go through the nose. Oh, and I'm wow. thinking, if they just knew that 10 years earlier, my father would still be alive. You know, <laughs> or heart bypass, or not heart bypass, you know, quintuple bypass surgery and things. Yeah. That didn't yeah. exist, let's say, in the 50s. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, and look at look at look at the uh, the absolute epitome of medical science we have on this program called Jeffrey Stein. That's right. <laughs> Just keep doing it. What is it? You got, you got to pump, what? Uh, what? How about you, Vernon? What? No, I was just saying. Jeff says present. <laughs> <laughs> but Jeffrey, uh, uh, Jeff, uh, it, it says Jeffrey there, so I see. Yeah. Anyway. But Jeff, uh, what the what? The, oh, here comes uh, Brian Neary coming towards the end of the show. Good. Uh, what, what, um, you have what? Uh, what do you have uh, with your heart? What's what? well over here? I have a pacemaker. Okay. <laughs> That's in this side. Yeah. But on this side, I have a little mesh that's mm -hmm. uh, in there to uh, prevent clotting. Oh, okay. Inside the valve. Uh, I have two aortic valves. They're mechanical. Can we just rename you Steve Austin? Yeah, you know. <laughs> but all things that 40 years ago, probably you'd not be with us today. A, a lot of that stuff. Uh, believe you, me. Want, you, want to, you, want, you want to know one of the things? That's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff. 
But the, the reason he's here today is because something he helped develop. Yeah. Am I right, am I right about that? Yeah. 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 That, uh, Plus, I had the one thing that really is the most difficult one. Yeah. Was a neurosurgeon, and and uh, I had a clot in my brain. Hey. Right. Was that as a result of the stroke? Yeah. Well, you see, that's what happened to Will Durst. They had to go in and mm -hmm. uh, take care of clots and things like that. Strokes uh, cause a lot more problems than just the stroke itself. I know. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, a, a lot of ways, I'm, I'm pretty lucky on it. You, he, you're a perfect example of medical science today. Oh, mm -hmm. every you know, day. And how wonderful it is. Yeah. And, uh, but I also go to a, where there's a lot of good yeah. surgeons. And Brian Neary is a perfect example of, well, how an iPhone can be used. Are you uh, on blue eye? I just wanted to call because I had uh, two cataracts. I still have one, and I sold the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and here, here. Very good. Very good. I had a cataract. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. Very good. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the building that we built. Uh, oh, All really? Right. Oh. <clears throat> It's a big facility for, yeah, for our testing. So, yeah, so we're, I'm in Lodi for a couple of days. So I heard you guys talking. So, oh, so you're, you're, you're not with the ki with the kids and the wife and so on, huh? No, but they don't miss me. <laughs> so, uh, Adrian, Adrian will get picked up by grandma and grandma takes her to the park because grandma doesn't see her every day, you know, so she gets the luxury of doing that with all her friends. So that's hmm. good. That's I good. would think that uh, Adrian because we've witnessed Adrian and her demeanor, I would miss you. She she seems to adore you. Yeah, yeah, and they say that. The, they say that if you have a daughter, they cling more to the father, and yeah, so. And then when you go, like, the all the, the Chinese and Vietnamese, you know, animals, it's like my animal and her animal match up really well and stuff like that, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so after when I pick her up tomorrow, yeah, she comes running. She knows I'm there for her. So yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, you always take you always take her to your car things and stuff. That's really nice. Yeah, she's the one. We have big trucks going by. Yeah, she's the one that always wants to go. She's she's like me. She she wakes up really early and she she has an early start in her so she's she's ready to go she hears me in the shower and she comes out and one time i told her if i go without you and i come home are you gonna be mad and she says yes no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah she's a, she's a terrific kid just terrific I know. She's doing her, art, her artwork on the door back here oh yeah <laughs> she has more i gotta send it so no wait a minute if people don't believe me hold on a second this one. <laughs> you guys can keep. Here we go. Look at this. Whoops. See? Oh, geez. That's great. There it is. <laughs> I, just, I bet. You, I bet uh, let me get back to where I can hear you. I just uh, took a snap. I bet she's a way better artist now than she was when she first drew those things, you know? Yeah. It goes on YouTube and they have, you know, they have all these like how to draw and they have like the different age groups. And so like every dance performance, she just had a dance performance and they they have a they have a dance sister. That's an older person and a young one, the older girls and a younger girl. So they always give each other like good luck before competitions. And so she drew this heart with her and the other girl inside the heart, like facing each other. Oh, my God. It's like crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's really shocking when you, I don't want to oh. One thing Marjorie noticed, and I noticed also with these pictures she did, is her proportions were very right. For a young kid just basically doing kind of stick figures, the proportions of the people were were right. So that yeah, I've been told that any kid who draws like that at that age will turn out to be a pretty good artist. You know? It's like I have an idea. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there should be a light bulb up there. That's what you said. Yeah, and I, I told you, she has a picture at, at work that I have at work, and it says, wonderful me, and then the teacher says to draw yourself. So she <laughs> drew herself in proportion, and she's got a crop top with her belly button showing. <laughs> <laughs>
she has all these crop tops she keeps on to wear like it's winter and raining and she wears she wants to wear the dance so i took a video she came down in shorts and then like a crop top and it's raining out i said no 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 you go back and change oh, i i think uh yeah i think maybe there's a there's a future for her here i have you thought about putting a stripper pole in your home <laughs> no <laughs> because i'll break it <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, so, Steve Bender, what have you been doing lately downtown? Uh, you know, I've been going out to a lot of jazz, like three, four nights a week. That's my thing. Oh. I, that's yeah. my rest. That's good. Week. Yeah, it's good. I went I went to another movie. I went to see Drive My playing? Car, which I thought was great. Drive My Car? Yeah, it's nominated for an Oscar. It's a Japanese movie. Oh, okay. But it's nominated for Best Picture. Um, okay. and, and best foreign film. It, it's re it was really good, I thought. Well, Drive my we, we had, Yeah. We had the SAG Awards last night. Right, right, right. Which is actually technically the SAG after awards, but after is not represented because there's nothing that isn't film that is nominated in those categories. There's stuff that's been on Netflix right. and you know, where TV shows that were done on film. But they all fall under SAG. They don't seem to, if it were after, they'd probably have best disc jockey of the year as well, you know. But well, they had a big sign in the back that said SAG after. I mean, yeah, I yeah. saw that. Yeah. And then our, our president got up and gave a speech. You know how our president is? Fran Drescher. Fran Drescher. Oh, God almighty. <laughs> You know, and and she's and she got him and gave a speech, and I figured, well, she's president now; she can just be a very presidential kind of person. And she still got that voice, you know. Yeah. And I'm going, geez. And then she gives this thing about how we care about our members, and I'm yelling at the screen, "What about our insurance, you bitch?" <laughs> you know, uh, you, you really want to help us out, insurance. And I was, I, I'm, I'm surprised nobody there even made mention of it, you know, or yelled out or anything. Because like the people in the room they were funny and invited funny. to be there. Right. And in the, in the death thing, okay, was, uh, what's his name? Uh, the oldest uh, SAG member oh. uh, uh, who died. Uh, the, the guy who was in Saboteur. Norman Lloyd. Norman Lloyd. Norman Lloyd. Norman Lloyd. And they had him in the in the in memoriam, right? And I'm thinking, I'm yelling out the screen, he's dead because of you. you know? <laughs> he was 104. Come on. He was 104 years old, but he lost his insurance that's right. because of what the union did. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's what killed him. And who's the other old one that just died? Female? Anyway. No, there's a female that died. Uh, at 103. Oh. Uh, uh, was it? Was it? Uh, it's not Marsha Hunt. She's it, still fine. Was Olivia de Havilland? No, she died two years ago. That was a while ago. Okay, but what about her sister, Joan Fontaine? She died 15 years ago. Oh, okay. Well, then somebody I can't remember. A couple of weeks ago, yeah. we, we lost somebody. Yeah. And, uh, but you know, uh, well, all these. I, people, I hmm. I didn't watch it, but I flipped there like one time and I saw Will Smith accepting something. So it must have been yeah. for your favorite yeah, movie. He won Best Actor. Yeah, we, we, we voted for him, you know. Uh, but, you know, apparently you're not considered an actor unless you were in Squid Games. <laughs> you, know, you know, which I, you know, I liked, I enjoyed, but geez, you know, what, Best Actor? For what? You know, so... And I have to like Ted Lasso, but enough. Oh, I I can't get through Ted Lasso. Me neither. Yeah, it's just not. Yeah, it's not. Uh, I I can't get with the the reason for existing. You know? <laughs> so I don't have Apple Plus, so I can I can't watch it. Yeah, well, lucky you. I have Apple Plus. Why? Yeah, it's not much on Apple Plus. There are a couple. Well, there, there's some things. But so you I'm, get the morning show for six episodes, I guess, or I don't know how many they do. Yeah. And we talked earlier about uh, what was that show? The uh, Severance. I have that. Yeah, Severance. Uh, yeah, they come up with some good stuff. I mean, I can't argue with that. 
but they don't but have. But it's like you said, what is it? Param not par was it Paramount Plus you got rid of? No, no. No, um, Peacock. 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 Uh, Nothing. Yeah. I mean, I I like uh, I get a lot of my money's worth out of Paramount Plus, but I don't get my money's worth out of Peacock. Yeah. Not unless I want to watch some old NBC TV shows like <laughs> Well, you can watch every episode of Saturday Night Live, I guess. No, but I can also watch every episode of every permutation of Law and Order. <laughs> <laughs> they got Cosby and in they there. Brought back the original. No, I don't think Cosby is there. Oh, okay. I don't yeah, think Cosby Cosby's is there. there. Cosby doesn't exist anymore. You know, he's on cable. I flip through the channels and on the upper cha cable channels, I see it. You know, they have ten of them in a row. I don't know what channel it is. Really. Really? Well, yeah, I'm surprised. I'm yeah. absolutely surprised. Yeah. Hey, listen, we've run out of time. We've fact, we're run over here. Mm -hmm. I'd love getting this gathering. It's just, you know, <laughs> it's so nice and easy. Doesn't bother Scott at all. <laughs> Keeps your heart rate at a normal pace. You know, he stopped calling the night show because he was starting to get palpitations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Scott, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. You I was know? quiet today. I'll mm -hmm. try to be more. Oh, well, you know, it, 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 nobody, it, you know, Jeff is quiet some days. And then, you know, it, whenever you say something, it's funny. So I, I can't uh, fault it. Uh, Shecky, uh, I'll be talking to you in a couple of minutes. I always call him right after the show. I try to say how fast I can do it. In fact, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> but, Hold on a second. Yes, it's our after show. So I, I, I can do it fast. Let me see here. Brother. Home. Okay. Here we go. Wait a minute. It is, uh, is your phone ringing? There we Can you hear it? Hello. <laughs> oh, brother. Well, just stay there and I'll talk to you in a few minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That said, thank you to, uh, to uh, Lynn LaFrisco. Always nice having you here, Lynn. Uh, we didn't see, uh, what's her name today? Uh, yeah, Mandy. 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 But, you know, she was she's working. It's not easy. It's tax season. Yeah. Jeffrey right. Stein, thank you. Thank well, you, Charlie Wallace. And thank you, Steve Bender. Always wonderful having you here. Vernon, always a pleasure with you. Just a bunch of people I really like hanging out with. Ryan Neary. You too. And I even enjoy hanging out with Marjorie, but I have no choice. So, <laughs> you know, everybody give a big wave goodbye. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. It's time for Edward Berger while you're waving goodbye to say, yeah. That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Never bye -bye, everybody. Okay. We'll see, we'll see you all later. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>